Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the message of hope. Welcome the nations of the world, Trinidad and Tobago, our local communities, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for life. We thank him for health. We thank him for strength. Thank him for sparing, hallelujah, this nation, my God, to see 58 years. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And may God continue to bless and prosper our nation. My God, my God, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God for what he has done, what he's doing and what he will continue to do for us as a nation, as a people, as individuals, as families. Thank God for his goodness and his mercy, his grace, his kindness and his faithfulness unto us. Thank God. We want to look into the word of God today Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The word of God is precious. It is precious. Amen. Amen. We want to look into the book of Matthew, chapter 13, reading from verse 53. All our students to, uh, today, hallelujah, our teachers as they go through their sessions, my God, God help them and, and, and give them the success Hallelujah, as they forge ahead in the name of Jesus, our teachers and principals and those who are engaged in, the, in, in education. Hallelujah, thank God, thank God, thank God for what he has set up, that, that technology could be used at this time for the honor and glory of his name. Amen. We're looking into the book of Matthew chapter 13, reading from verse 53 to 58. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. And when he was coming to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue in so much that they were astonished and said, Whence had this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James, Joseph, Simon and, jo and Judas and his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then had this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he did not many mighty works there because of their own Belief. The key word there is unbelief. Hallelujah. Unbelief. God touch lives today. Minister to souls, oh God. Hallelujah. That the spirit of believing, believing you, believing your word, believing Jesus Christ, believe the Holy Spirit, all three in one. Believe, believe. Hallelujah. And receive. Salvation, receive healing, receive deliverance. Hallelujah, receive restoration, receive comfort. You got to believe to receive. Father God, just have your way today. In Jesus' almighty name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 13, 53 to 58. And the topic on belief blocks or hinders the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Unbelief blocks or hinders the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Whatever the blessing we need, whatever the promises we need to claim from the word of God, if we do not believe, we will not receive 
people are yet not saved because they cannot come to that place to believe in the Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the Genesis to Revelation, we got to believe. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything we need from God. Hallelujah. Anything. We got to believe. We got to trust that he is able. And the Bible tells us he is he's more than able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we are able to ask or think according to the power that works in us. Here in chapter 13. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Chapter 13 opens with Jesus Christ. Most likely in, at Capernaum. That, that, that's a place he resorted to. As though there was a house there where he would resort to. Yes? Hallelujah. And he, the Bible tells us that he left the house. He came out of the house and sat by the seaside. And there he, hallelujah, was teaching the people. He went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. Amen. <clears throat> and he spake many things unto them in parables. A parable is an, a, an earthly activity with a heavenly meaning. Yes? Earthly, earthly teaching with a heavenly meaning. So he taught them by parables. Hallelujah. The first parable was the sower and the seed, and he explained the meaning of that to them. And going down to verse 24, he started to talk about the kingdom of heaven, heaven, using parables to explain the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And at verse 53, when he was finished, it came to pass, when he was finished, he departed from Capernaum and went down into his own city, went down to Galilee, Nazareth, where he was brought up. Yes? And when he was come, he went into the synagogue. Hallelujah. He went into the house of the Lord. He went to church, into the church building. Hallelujah. Went in the synagogue. Hallelujah. And he taught them. He began to teach. Preacher, teacher, healer is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's still teaching us from his word. He's still healing. He can heal. He's still able to heal, deliver, save Restore, lift up, strengthen, comfort. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us, look at the reaction of these people. The Bible says, they were astonished. Yes, hallelujah. They were astonished at his word. At his teaching. Hallelujah. The key verse I'm looking at is verse 58. The Bible tells us down there, and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. The key word is unbelief. Why were they so astonished? Hallelujah. Because they knew him. They knew his family. They knew his mother. They knew his father. They are questioning. Hear them. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, in their synagogue, in so much that they were astonished and said, whence had this man, this is how they described him, they didn't recognize Jesus as the Messiah. They did not recognize him as the promised one. They did not recognize him as the savior of the world. They didn't even accept him. No, they did not accept him. Even his own brethren, his brothers, they did not accept him. Hallelujah. And they're asking, whence had this man? Hallelujah. Remember, at, at, his, at his trial, they said we would not have this man. Not this man, but Barabbas. Even at his trial, when Pilate wanted to release him, they said, no, not this man. Even then, throughout Jesus' History, work, his work on earth among his people, many of them, the majority, did not accept him. They did not receive him. They did not recognize him. What about you today? He's not here on earth. He's not here on earth. What, is, what, what are you saying about him? What, what do you think about the Lord Jesus Christ? 
What are you saying? They're asking, whence had this man this wisdom? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Where he get all this wisdom from? This man, know the words? This man, they did not accept Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This man, whence had this man? Hear what uh, Luke chapter 2 and verse 40 tells us. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom. He is God. He is omniscient. Hallelujah. He, he grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom in so much that when he was 12 years old and went up to the temple with his parents, and they, he, they, they, they thought they, when they returned home and he was not with, with them, when they returned to Jerusalem, they found him in the temple among the doctors and the lawyers, asking them questions and answering their questions. And hello, verse 47 of Luke chapter 2 says, and all that heard him were astonished, even at 12 years, they were astonished at his understanding of the word of God and his answers. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were astonished and asked, whence had this man, I'm looking at this phrase, this, this man, this man, this wisdom. Hallelujah. He came, wisdom became wrapped up, wisdom wrapped up in him because he's God. Hallelujah. Uh, and and, and, and these mighty works, at least they recognized that he was very wise and they also recognized his works. They call his works mighty. Hallelujah. The Bible says he would be great. Hallelujah. He would be great. Hallelujah. Great and powerful and mighty. As a matter of fact, at, at River Jordan, Hallelujah, when he was baptized. Hallelujah, he was anointed. Hallelujah, by the Holy Ghost. He was anointed with power. Hallelujah, he went about doing good. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whence had this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Listen to me. Because of unbelief, because of unbelief, and we all struggle. I think from time to time, we, we, we seem not to be able to come to grips with, with believing God, trusting him, hallelujah, totally believing. I hear what the scripture says, all things are possible to him that believes all, not some things, all, all things are possible to him that believes. Hallelujah, that's the key. The key to receiving anything from God is believing. We gotta believe, we gotta believe, we struggle. Even Jesus' disciples, they struggled. They struggled from time to time. Just had to ask them, where is your faith? As, as a matter of fact, the father brought an account, his son to the disciples, and they just couldn't cast out the, the demon that was in the child. When Jesus Christ came down from the Mount of Transfiguration, uh, he, the father came to Jesus with his son and said, I brought my son to your disciples. Ha, hallelujah, I brought my son to, to your disciples. And, and they, couldn't, they couldn't help me. They didn't help me. They couldn't cast out the demon. And Jesus cast out the demons. And the disciples afterwards asked Jesus, so why couldn't we do that? Why couldn't we do that? And Jesus told them, because of your unbelief. Because of your unbelief, many of us are still struggling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We could have been further on. We could have had so much more. We could have been so much more. But we are struggling with unbelief. Because of your unbelief, you couldn't cast him out. It is not our doing. It is God believing in God, believing in God that he can do it. Work through us. It's not of us. 
Jesus says, without him we can do nothing. It is not by might nor by power. It's by the Holy. We are just the vessels by the Holy Spirit. We are just the vessels that he will walk through. And we got to come to that place, all of us. Come to that place as children of God. People of God come to that place where we can totally, we, we believe God for some things. And then we can't believe him for other things. We believe him to save us. When we were in trouble and we needed help and we needed God, we ran to him and he brought us out. And, and yet we believe he could have done it then. And for other things, we just find it so hard to believe God for such and such and such. We struggle, we struggle, we struggle. Hallelujah. But God wants us to put our trust in him, put our all, all our trust in him, our confidence in him. Hallelujah. Yeah? And they are questioning now his parentage. Hallelujah. They're looking at him. Who are you? Where you get all this knowledge from? Which school you went to? Which university you went to? And, you know, in our day also, we, we despise people. We look down on people, but it's not the qualification, you know. It's the anointing, it's the power of God operating in the person, in the individual child of God or man of God or, or, or whoever prophet, hallelujah, or pastor. It is not just the person. Do not look at the individual, hallelujah. Look at the God in the person, look at the power of God operating in the person. Yes, that, that individual may not come from the, the aristocratic background. He doesn't have that qualification. Yes, but God raised him up. God raised him up. Raised him or raised her up to preach the gospel. Yes, and because of the background of the person, most times we ref refuse to receive the word. We stand and we criticize and, and we bring down Hallelujah, the individual. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look beyond. These people were looking. I mean, and these are Jesus' Jewish nation. These are those are who, who his nation is, is people of his own nationality. Hallelujah, the Jews. Although they were looking for the Messiah, Although they were looking for the promised one, he was right in their midst. Hallelujah. And they missed him. I am encouraging you today. Do not miss Jesus. Do not miss out on accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Unbelief. Unbelief will keep you out of the kingdom of God. You see, because Jesus Christ used many parables about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not miss Jesus. Do not miss out on the kingdom of God because of unbelief. Revelation tells us all liars, the liars and, un and the unbelieving <laughs> will have their part in the lake of fire. Revelation tells us that. Hallelujah. Do not, do not let unbelief Keep you out of the kingdom of God. God is God. He is true to his word. He keeps his promises. He is able to save you. He can do it. All you have to do is trust him. Trust his son. Believe his son. And what he did at the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. His blood to cleanse you from your sin. That's why John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world. Hallelujah, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes, see, there's the word, believe, believe, believe. You gotta believe, you gotta believe. And these people here, they missed out, they missed out on some of the great works that Jesus would have performed in their city and for their own people, in their own household, yes, and for them. They missed out on miracles, great miracles. Hallelujah. Whence had this man this wisdom and these mighty works? They come from God, his father. Hallelujah. Wisdom comes from God, his father. He was anointed, hallelujah, with power and with the Holy Ghost to perform, to perform, to perform miracles. 
hallelujah, to perform miracles. And he wants to perform the miracle of salvation in your life today. To me, it's the greatest miracle. Hallelujah, it's the greatest miracle. People get healed, could be healed, and didn't receive salvation. And that has happened. People get healed, they pretend to want Jesus Christ, they got healing, and they, don't, they want the healing and not the healer. Yes? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whence had this man this wisdom? Where you got at? Which university you went to? Who was your principal? Who was your teacher? Hallelujah. Where you got this wisdom from? To tell us all these things about the kingdom of God. Who are you? Where do you come from? Who are you? I know your parents. I know your father. I know um, Joseph, your father, the carpenter. Here they're asking, is not this the carpenter's son? Father is a carpenter. How come you have all this knowledge? You yourself be, had been helping him in the shop. How come you have all this knowledge? Hallelujah. Where you got it from? The omniscient one. Hallelujah, the omniscient, the all-wise, all-knowing one. Jesus and God, they are one. The Holy Spirit, they are one. Jesus said, I and my Father are one. You see me, you see my Father. What I do is what my Father do. What I say is what my Father say. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Everything I have comes from my father. Everything I do, Jesus is saying, comes from my father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whence are this man? This carpenter's son. This carpenter's son. Where he got all this knowledge from? Hallelujah. And is not his mother called Mary? Who is Mary? A simple girl, simple girl, yes? Simple young lady. Hallelujah, who brought forth the Son of God. Hallelujah. They had so much trouble with, with them. Hallelujah. Yeah, because they couldn't understand the miracle birth of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One time the Jews told Jesus Christ, we be not born of fornication. We, 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 didn't, we didn't come of fornication. No, but, but you, 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 you were born of fornication. Yeah, before your mother and your father, they were married, they got you. But that wasn't so. She was, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where you got all this wisdom from? Yes? And these mighty works. Come on. Hallelujah. Your father is a carpenter. Is not this a carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? Come on, they are doubting the works of God. They are not believing in the Messiah, their Messiah. Hallelujah, they rejected him. Hallelujah, from the time he came on the scene and he said he's the son of God and he started teaching differently from the scribes and the Pharisees because some of them said he's, he's, he's speaking with authority and not as the scribes and the Pharisees, that which they were accustomed to. Hallelujah. Jesus came with life. Hallelujah. He came with life. He came with something new, something fresh, something more powerful than what they've been accustomed to. Yes, he came with life. He came to give life, eternal life. Hallelujah to the world. Hallelujah. Yes, your mother is called Mary. Hallelujah. Your mother is called Mary, the little girl who got you. And fornication, but that is not so. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes? And your, bro your brothers, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas. Yes? We know them. How come, where, where are you? How come you are like that? You are so different. Where you got all that knowledge from? And his sisters and your sisters, are they not all with us? We know you. We know your family. Yes, we know your family, we know your generation, we know your pedigree, so to speak. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And they're still asking, where you get all these things from? 
Whence then had this man all these things? Question, 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 question. Doubting, rejecting. Hallelujah, the Lord Jesus Christ. You today, you may have been rejecting Jesus Christ. You don't want to accept him in your life. Listen, unbelief, unbelief will keep you out of the kingdom of God. Unbelief. How you will block the blessings of God from coming into your life. Come on, unbelief. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Bible tells us in verse 56, and they were offended. Hallelujah. They were offended. Hallelujah. They got upset with him. They got upset with him. Hallelujah. Jesus had to say, a prophet is not without honor, only in his own country and in his own house. Only in his own country and in his own house. His brothers, they did not acknowledge him. They did not recognize him. They did not accept him. Later in his ministry, they came around. Today, don't let unbelief keep you out of the kingdom of God. Don't let unbelief keep you from the blessings and the promises that God has in store for you and for me. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, that we would believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that we would believe the word of God. Oh, that we would believe what God has said about his son. And believe also what God has said about you, what he said about me. Hallelujah. We could make that change in our lives. Hallelujah. It's your opportunity today to change from unbelief to believing. Believe Jesus Christ. Believe his word. Believe the Lord God. Believe the gospel. Yes, and be saved today for all eternity. Amen. Father God, I give you praise and give you thanks for your word. Continue to minister your word to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Turn hearts around today, O oh God, to saving knowledge of you, O oh God. Hallelujah. And your son, Jesus Christ, have your way. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Continue to view the message of hope every after Wednesday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. right here on TIN. We'll continue next time. God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.